I always like to wear this yellow tracksuit. <laughs> I feel strong and fast, like Bruce Lee, no? <laughs> okay, but when I put on weight, I feel like I'm a Digimon. <laughs> but one thing is good. I ever like, experienced someone holding a mobile phone come towards me and say, Wow, my line is full bar now. <laughs> okay, if I got a chance uh, to become anybody, I would wish to become more like my uh, late grandfather. Okay, my grandfather is a super nice guy. Uh, he had, he, uh, Memories has inspired me to be sincerity towards my life. He is a super nice guy, and he loved to help a lot of people. When I was young, I remember when he walked down to the street, when he saw some rubbish on the floor, he would on the street he would just pick it up and throw it in the dustbin all the time. During that time, I still feel like wow, he. So dirty. <laughs> and he is good in Chinese calligraphy. So if you like to uh, write all the good quotes and share with me, and you ask me to stick it on the wall, I would feel like, I would think like, oh, okay, whatever. I was too young to appreciate uh, what my grandfather have shared with me. But I always remember what I have done. During my mindset totally changed when my grandfather passed away. And I read his notes that he wrote. And two things really changed my, my mindset. The first thing is he used to help a lot for the Chinese, a different Chinese association. And the Chinese association ever give him a big ang pao with a, a lot of money inside. And he feel like he, don't, he doesn't deserve that kind of money. So he donate 100% to the charity society. And second thing, he been helping a lot and he been busy all the time. And he wrote in the notes in he feel ashamed that he did not contribute much to the society. <clears throat> okay, this is my grandfather. That one is me. <laughs> okay. So martial arts are uh, a uh, crystallization of our sense of humanity. So, I want to become a, like my grandfather. So, I believe I can teach and inspire people by using martial arts. And the journey as a martial artist, I discovered that I'm good in teaching. I love to design the different training program and until I met Sunny. Sunny. <laughs> Sunny is deaf. He texts me and he wants to join my class. And with special discount because he's okay you. <laughs> I reply him, sure you are welcome to my class, but no discount. <laughs> Why? Because I want to treat him like a normal person and I will teach him like a normal, normal person as well. <clears throat> so Sunny, and he is very hard looking and he is really focused in learning. So after observing sometimes, I offer Sunny to become my assistant. Then he was so shocked. Then he needs to ask his father. The second day, his father really turned up. So I told his father, Sunny, 
he is a very loving person and I can see he got the talent. So I want him to become my assistant and I'm sure I can train him to become a professional fighter. So his father hold my hands and look into my eyes and say, Coach, my son is in your hand. <clears throat> how, I'm going, how I communicate with Sunny? I don't even know how to do sign language. Okay, we start a very basic thing. A, B, C. Okay, we start to communicate, communicate like this. Then, I start to learn sign language. I start to learn uh, from Sunny. I don't even know how to do the ABC. So every time I will ask, okay, what is this? Okay, show me. So what is this? Show me. So I understand times, and day by day, my teaching skills getting better because I have to figure and I have to think how I am going to teach Sunny. So every time when I teach, the gesture has to be like extra body gesture <laughs> so they have to make sure Sunny understand. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then, Sunny skills getting better as well. Then he's ready for the competition. How's I'm going to Give you the signs when during the competition. That's the interesting part. So a lot <clears throat> when he's fighting in the ring, before the competition, I will do some research and get some videos of his opponent and I will study. And I'll come up with a game plan and techniques just to draw Sunny to against his opponent. So we will, be, uh, we will have a what? The simple, simple sign language like. Okay. In and out. Go in and go out. Circling. Wait. Fake move. Okay. So the punchy kicking the same. Okay. For the roundhouse kick, for the low kick, for the knee, that's a basic uh, sign language I have to teach Sunny. And when during the fight, I have to wait until the split second when Sunny have the eye contact with me, they only have to give him the instruction already. <laughs> Then the hard part will be the what? The rest time. So the rest time is only one to two minutes. I have to ask him to remind him to take a deep breath three times. Two, I need to motivate him. It's very important. Okay? The third, I then only come up with the strategy. So me and Sunny been training together for quite some time already. So that's why we have a very good connection, then we can create magic together. Wow. Yeah. But sometimes, I feel like uh, it's quite complicated to teach the normal person compared to them. <laughs> Especially Ronald. Ronald. Ronald, he joined my gym when he's around 12 years old. 12 or 13 years old. And he's quite naughty in the school. But when he comes to my gym, he's quite behaved. <laughs> so from 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, uh, I think he's ready for a competition. So I gave him a fight, the first MMA fight in Johor. So, me, Ronald, Sunny, three of us is fighting the same event. I 
I'm so proud of Sunny and Rona, both of them they won, but I lost. <laughs> so as a reward, uh, so I, I as in reward, so I brought them to the Man Manhattan Fish Market to have a seafood. So I ordered the four person set. Okay. Then when the, the dinner served, Rona he served everyone. First thing, oyster. <laughs> one person, one. Then he keep on observing, I'm eating. Once I finish mine, then he quickly take the last one, last piece and put it on my plate. Rona, so lovely, right? Only 15 years old, right? By the time. But too bad, uh, when 16 years old, he completely changed. <laughs> he become, uh, he never come to the gym anymore. He becomes so aggressive. He looked for trouble in the school. Then he be kicked out from the school. He never come to my gym any again. I try. I try to look for him in the pool center. So I try to talk to him, scold him, talk to him. He said nothing. I'm so sad. Even my friend said, you are wasting your time. He is born like that. He been follow me for a few years. But suddenly he turned like that, I really sad. So night time, I just stay in my room and I cry. I try my best to help the problem kids. But I don't know why he just turned bad like that. But luckily, after three months, he got a self-realization and he come back. I never scold him, but I set up the three rules for him. First, you have to go back to school. So I get the, all the paper tons, then I, uh, I go to the educational departments to help him to sort out all the, the transfer paper. Then I beg the principal, the new school principal, to accept him. So he managed to go back to school. The second thing, he had to train full time for three months without holidays. And the third rule, I get a professional fight for him because he's so aggressive, look for troubles, right? <laughs> so I get him fight in, in Sarawak. And against Malaysia bronze medalist. Oh. But Rona, he fight against the Malaysian bronze medalist. He first time, he first professional fight. So Rona five rounds, he finished the five round, but with the limping legs, all the bruises. <laughs> but he never give up. Once he finished the fight, he go to the corner and hug me, coach. I finished the round, I never embarrass you. When he, he climbed out the, the, what, the, the ring, then he passed out too exhausted and night time uh, he got high fever <laughs> basically for me the sincere the simple thoughts of the teaching Rona and Sunny by sincerity Sunny he's the president of the Deaf Association Labuan and he just uh, got the award the Outstanding Life Achievement Awards 2017 during the World Deaf Day, Sunny. <laughs> and he won the multiple uh, title belts. Rona, 16 years old, he's the youngest uh, international certified trainer under ISTA. And he got two title belts. And he is setting up his gym now and expecting operate start operating uh, January 2018. And he is only 21 years old. <laughs> this one when he fight, he said uh, during my birthday, and this is my birthday gift. For as a 
I come up with a simple sincerity. So I want my gym, not like the commercial gym. I want my gym to become a like small community. So everyone is very important. Because of the sincerity, I become the Malaysia first uh, coach that learn sign language to, to teach the deaf team. Now we have the deaf team. Woo. And we got uh, one international fighter and she is from Sweden. She Googled in internet, she found that we can teach the deaf fighter. So she is deaf, she fly all, all the way from Sweden to come to Love One, just want to learn from me. In my eyes, my student is like my kid. So they are not just the, the, what, the kids in my class list, they are part of my heart. So I have to create the, the basic uh, belief system in my gym. I believe good teaching will build up the good personality. But not less, uh, uh, because of the good teaching, but the good thing will pass on like religion. Even you are gone, the good thing will still practice continuously. This is the holiday camp I teach the kids. So our greatest success in, in life are often found in helping others succeed. It is much better than money and fame. You will not only feel achieved and satisfied, but also you will get peaceful mind, happy heart, and positive life. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a good evening, and I need to save the world now.